Hi there, and thanks for continuing with us from Works for Tulsa. You know, as we approach the holidays, it's easy for us to get caught up in all that it takes to pull it together. Yeah, like cooking, shopping, cleaning. That's right, Trish, but only one of those I've ever seen you do. <laughs> but in the true spirit of the upcoming holiday season, we should be doing more to help those who can't always help themselves. And a great place to start and maybe pick up a Christmas gift or two has to be the Center for Individuals with Physical Challenges. Holiday Mart is a tradition here at the center. Um, a long time ago, we been, we have a 57 year history. So in the very beginning, it was more like small crafts and things like that, but it has evolved to amazing works of art that, I mean, people commission our artists to make art for them in the community. So we have some really awesome artists. Um, the great thing about Holiday Mart is that it's free to come just see who's, you know, who's here and what they've got. But then it's also, it's not a fundraiser for the center. It is, the proceeds go to the members. So when you have a disability, you incur a lot of medical costs, as you can imagine, um, and, and life changes. So we like them to have some Christmas money or whatever money they may need for bills or anything like that. So the, at least over 80% of the pro of the proceeds go back to the artists. The rest just go to buying some supplies for the art room. Well, we have angels decorations, ornaments. We have a lot of different kinds of Christmas trees. Um, we're going to make fascinators like women used to wear that are very festive. Um, and just general work that we do throughout the year. The art room is the most happening place in the center, I think. Um, we have a ton of different personalities, a ton of different artists, um, and they're a family. They really are a family. Um, Paula and Melissa especially, um, even if they're not here, and if one's not able to be here, they're calling and checking on them. You know, it's, it's, this, it's just a wonderful relationship, and I think that comes out in their art too, because um, they help each other. You know, and they, they you know, analyze each other's art, pieces of art and give each other tips and pointers, and they're pretty much the, arts, the, the art center. I had uh, abruptly become incapable of movement and it turned out it was MS and my doctor, by the time I made it out of the hospital, he said, you need, I have a place you need to go and he paid for my first semester. So I didn't have a, there was no choice of yes, I'll go or no, I won't. He said, you show up here Monday and they have your name and everything's ready. So I've been here ever since, and, and that was in 2008. I, I had a doctor that recommended it, and I wasn't gonna come here. Boy, I wasn't gonna come. And finally I checked it out, and it's when it was in the old building, and I realized that my life wasn't over and I wasn't unique. I fit in somewhere. What's cool about you know, the centers, we do have a master level art instructor named Miss Janice, and she's here every day. And um, there are structured courses, so you could take like drawing and painting, sculpture, but then there's also, also open art. I like being able to create lots of things. Like, I've always been able to draw, but now I can paint and I can do mosaics, I can glaze my own tiles, I can create with clay. I can do anything I want to now. Even though I can't feel my hands, doesn't mean I can't do art. <laughs> I, I've gotten to do things I never thought I could do. And it feels fun and, and feels good in my heart to be able to create things. And, and I love the people. I love the people in this room. They're my family. They've gone way beyond friends. They've become family. Yeah, we, we are very close. We all have something in common, you know, Something abrupt changed in our lives and, and uh, we've had to become different people and it's very nice to have people that understand what you're going through. Well, I think what's even better than a regular craft show or an art show is that our artists are overcoming a very serious physical disability to make the works of art. So when you see a piece of Melissa's, I mean, she captures the lights and the shadows on people's faces so well, and she can barely use her hands. So, you know, understanding the story behind the pieces of art, to me, are what make it just that much more important and that much more exciting for the community.